Hey guys. Basically, I'm basically I'm back here, and uh, as you can see, if I can get these guys standing up, uh, here I have the new uh, wave, I guess, of the security breach snaps, or just the funk FNAF snaps, I guess. Like, okay, I don't even know what wave this is, or if this is even a wave, or just like an add-on to the security breach wave. Like, so this is either like wave four of the FNAF snaps, or wave two of the security breach snaps, or it's just still wave one of FNAF, of the security breach snaps and it's just a continuation because i didn't get these out in time or I don't, I don't know i really don't know i'm just gonna tell this like f like security breach snaps wave two because it's better for a tile but yeah uh i have you know all these which i haven't really seen many people get recently uh and i'll and also if you see these uh like the little cheap tags right there that's because like i actually found these things at uh like, not like a little vendor's market, but just a place where they had lots of collectible stuff or whatever. Uh, they had these, surprisingly, so I decided to pick them up because, I mean, I wasn't going to miss out on this. Uh, and we have, like, you know, three new ones, and uh, the backsides of these are pretty much the same. Uh, well, actually, yeah, there's three new ones. So, maybe it is still part of, like, Series 1. But I don't know, I'm just gonna call it like wave two of the freaking security breach snaps. So yeah, anyways, I'm just gonna go into it real quick and I'm gonna start off by showing none other, none other uh, than Roxanne. So, oh no. Anyways, here is the Roxanne snap. And uh, gotta say, you know, de like the security breach wave of the snaps uh, definitely improved their molds because they look uh, like, you know, a lot more accurate. And the same can be said for Roxanne right here. Uh, now, I can't really see much wrong with this i mean like okay i will say you know the freaking black star here or whatever is uh kind of small but honestly like you know the figure itself is still like you know really good i hmm that looks a bit awkward i mean i don't know i, I mean it's a small mold so i could see why paint won't be done that accurately but then again that's animatronics job that is if she ever reviews this stuff uh but you know i'm actually surprised of how well they actually were able to pull off like the little stripes on her uh face or cheeks I, I don't even know uh but because because like obviously you know you can take off the face or whatever uh so and i was thinking that maybe that could mess some things up but uh no it actually works decently uh i will i, I will say her ears though uh mainly like i guess like like a little bit with the earrings like this part isn't really painted and neither is the secondary color on the ears but then again that's just a minor nitpick uh everything else on here looks pretty good uh you can't really turn her head though all that much like with all the other snaps you could just kind of like spin them all around but you can't obviously because of her hair and i will say her hair is actually very well done same with her tail uh yeah not really much to say about this i mean i really don't see why we didn't we, why we didn't get this figure uh when the first wave first came out i don't really get that because like we got like two black light uh waves for like the sets which honestly we could have either have the normal figures in those sets or we just could have had a roxanne set if they were really that lazy with it but i don't know uh, that's just me but yeah here there's you know roxanne uh and here is her little guitar or whatever you know it's actually very well done you know surprisingly very clean uh, and here's her other face, which is of the shattered version, which I'll I'll, I'll just put on just because there's only three figures. Well, I mean, I don't know how to feel about it. Like, okay, I obviously see what they're going for because, like, you know, she got hit in the face, but her eyes are still there, so you can't really do much about that. I mean, it kind of blends, but then again, I feel like a majority of her face is just blacked out or whatever, or just, you know, painted like this. I don't, I don't really know. Uh... I will say the detail on it, though, is pretty nice, and I like, you know, the withering, uh, but it's also just kind of awkward seeing as how literally nothing else of, like, of, of her is, you know, withered. Like, that's the thing about the shattered faces of the snaps, is, like, they're cool and everything, and for some it works, like, for, for Monty it works, uh, because, you, you, you know, Monty is already, like, like you, you, you can figure that out, but, like, I don't know, the other just the other snaps that have these shattered faces don't work just because like 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 first of all like nothing else about them is shattered literally just a face and you know everything else is literally clean except when you go to the face it just looks so weird i think mainly i'm dealing with roxanne here having that weird withering on her face oh yeah also i guess i'll just show real quick 
uh, her endoskeleton is the Garmak endo. If you haven't seen or have any of the snaps before and you haven't seen the endo, that's, that's what it looks like. I mean, you saw in the packaging, so you probably already knew that. But uh, yeah, there's Roxanne. Now, moving on to uh, Staffbot. Now, I will say the Staffbot figure is uh, very interesting as like, you know, it's our first P like we didn't really expect to get any Staffbot merch, but I mean, here we are and uh, here he is. So I gotta say, I do really like the detail on this guy, like really, really cool. Oh, I have this on the wrong side. That's better. Uh, anyways, I really like how they actually, you know, added his wheels. Uh, I mean, I didn't expect him not to because I feel like they could have done it and they did. Uh, but like, yeah, here's his, you know, wheels and the detail on like the front. Uh, yeah, there's the watermark, which I don't, I mean, okay, maybe I understand why they put it there. Uh, but <laughs> yeah, like the figure, you know, the figure has a really good mold. Although I will say his face right here isn't that, uh, like stiff or whatever. Like for Roxanne's, like it's, I mean, it's not that stiff either, but like you can't really like move it all around. I think it's just because of his, uh spherical head or whatever and just how his mask is just like literally just a face of like you can do that you could do this which doesn't feel like you should be able to do it but you can uh and speaking of which here <laughs> i forgot how cursed he looks uh but he does actually look like this in security breach and he has like the little speaker speaker mouth right there uh and also his prop is just a flashlight uh and uh it's literally just one solid color uh i do like how they made his hands different and you know accurate to how they should uh, you know, and also this is like the security staff bot, not just the normal staff bot. Uh, I kind of wish this could be removable, uh, like just so we could have the normal staff bot, you know, like the mask or whatever. I, I just, I'm just saying could, that's something they could have done just cause I don't know what people are going to want with just the security, security staff bot for wanting just the normal staff bot. Uh, but anyways, here is uh, his other mask, which I'm pretty sure I could just put on simply right here. Uh, yeah, so, I mean, luckily, this doesn't really have much noticeable withering to where it just stands out completely. Like, like with the Rock Sand Mask, like, it's very dirty. So, and it tries to blend in, but it really just doesn't work as the majority of it's covered by the dirt. This one, it doesn't have a dirty face. It's just a withered, scratched up face. Uh, and even then, you know, like, it's cool. But like I said, just the withering masks, like, for just the mask being withered, it just doesn't work all that well. It, like, I, like, I appreciate the detail that goes into the withering on the mask, but it, like I've said, but one, you know, time and time again, it just doesn't really work that well if none other parts of the body are withered, you know, in that case. Uh, but I do like the appreciation and detail on this mask because it does look really good, you know, to be honest. Uh, I put thin, cur thin cushions. Uh, but yeah, there's the staff bot. Now on to the last figure. Helpy, which is, this is FNAF 6 Helpy. Let me just say this real quick, okay. This is FNAF 6 Helpy. Like, Helpy was in Security Breach, but this is not Security Breach Helpy. This is, like, you know, Helpy from FNAF 6. But they put him with the Security Breach line. I mean, I guess I could see why. But like I've already said, this is not, this is FNAF 6 Helpy. But I don't know, I'm just gonna get this guy out. Anyways, for our last figure, here is Helpy. And I gotta say... I really like this figure, you know, for it, for it being in the security breach wave though, it's strange because this is, like I've said, FNAF 6 healthy, uh, but this is still a really good mold, like I really like the figure itself because it actually looks very accurate, you know, to healthy, uh, and also his prop is a balloon, which is as big as his head, uh, the only time healthy's really had a balloon in his hand like this, you know, obviously, I mean, theoretically, I guess, healthy can have a balloon and it doesn't really matter or not, uh, so, I mean, I don't know what I'm make what point I'm making here, but yeah, here's his balloon, which has, which is, is like I've said, as big as his head. Uh, also, this healthy face right here is very strange. Like he looks either bored or just meh. I don't even know what that face is. Uh, but you know, the whole mold itself, I'm very you know happy with this figure. You know, it's a really good figure. This one right here. Uh, and if I could take off his face like this, so I probably can. Got the balloon is in the way. If I can do it. Come on. Go. And here's his uh, endo mold, which is like, actually, it's an actual, this is like an actual healthy endo skeleton. Like, this isn't like any of the other like FNAF 1 skeletons or whatever, or the security breach ones. Uh, it's literally just a healthy because he has his buck teeth right there. So 
kind of strange and weird, but nice detail, I guess. Uh, and here is his other face where he looks a lot happier. And I actually like this mold a lot more. It's just, it's just joy, I guess, you know, uh, and seeing, oh God, his torso is all the way back. Oh, and just seeing his abuse and help wanted to, I feel like this guy deserves a happy ending or a happy face at least. Anyways, guys, that is it for this, for this review. Anyways, guys, that is it for this review. Like I was saying, uh, yeah, this is like the first review of 2024. Uh, and I also just want to say real quick, I have actually filmed this year's plush collection and I'm just, I'm still in the process of editing it, but don't worry. I will hopefully try to get this out soon. If not by tomorrow, then hopefully Monday, but you know, either way, uh, just thank you guys so much for watching this review. I don't know if these guys are available yet, like in actual stores, like GameStop or whatever, but I mean, if you have a place that has a lot of collectible stuff, maybe that's your best bet, but I don't know. Uh, but yeah, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, also, I have a new outro, but anyways, uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and goodbye. Ah! I stay lit, not like flickering lights, good vibes and good times go well like chicken with rice. Squad goes, it's me, myself, and I, and just like smart homes, trust me, the whole club know I arrived. I just wanna step over a velvet rope and people yell my name like a welcome home. Shower me and love my umbrella's clothes. The club going up just like how swellings grow. Put in my finest pair of clothes. Club so packed I could barely move. Stepping on my pair of shoes, but I don't care cause I'm still gassed up.